Today, Wednesday, October 14, 2020, St. Lucia recorded two new cases of COVID-19. The individuals are a couple, 38-year-old female and a 47-year-old male of castries. They both developed respiratory signs and symptoms, which led them to seek care at the Community Respiratory Clinic on Monday, October 12, 2020, where they were treated for their symptoms and tested for COVID-19. As per our protocol, they were sent home in isolation, awaiting their results. Upon receiving their confirmed COVID-19 results, arrangements have been made for their transfer to the respiratory hospital for care. Their son, who is a secondary school student, shall be assessed and tested for COVID-19 and placed in quarantine. The classmates and teachers shall also be assessed and will be kept home in quarantine until his test results are received. Contact tracing has commenced with the possible contacts of these two new cases. St. Lucia has now recorded a total of 31 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 27 of the confirmed cases have recovered and are reintegrated into their communities. Currently, there are four active cases in care at the respiratory hospital. A total of 8,654 tests have been conducted to date. At this point, to maintain the gains achieved so far, and given the new risks introduced by these new cases, and also to maintain public health and safety, it is imperative that each and every one of us play a part to keep our most vulnerable safe. This includes the use of masks in all public places, keeping a safe distance from others, avoiding mass crowd activities and social activities, maintain the infection prevention and control measures, including at home, at work, avoiding contact with others with respiratory signs and symptoms, as well as seeking immediate care if you develop or have those signs and symptoms. The five respiratory clinics remain open for persons who present signs and symptoms. The 311 information hotline is available to help address COVID-related questions and concerns. The treatment and care for COVID-19 related conditions remain free of charge to the public. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information is received.